Welcome back to Link the Faces of Evil. In this part, we fight Militron. <laughs> Listen! Is that what Nami said? Worthless Corridian, you must be hardened with fire! Go and kill! <laughs> You're a cool guy. Welcome. Now die. Wait, if there's an offering of time, is there a... <laughs> what is this? Carrie, what Wait, were you going to say? Uh, oh, uh, Zelda CDI. Yeah. Carrie, so. oh. what so, were you going to say? So, I have a question. If there's an ocarina of time, might as well there be um, a flute of space. I like to think of it more of, a, of an oboe of space. <laughs> I like that, too. The Legend of Zelda oboe of space. <laughs> Legend of Zelda oboe of space. Elbow? Elbow of space. Oh, yeah, yeah, now I remember. That I guy couldn't tell an, el an oboe from an elbow. <laughs> elbow. <laughs> Band humor. <laughs> I gotta find a way to drum up a band fast. <laughs> drum. More band humor. <laughs> I love SpongeBob. I feel like I should just go back and watch Spongebob episodes for the for nostalgia's sake. Okay, so yeah. a little while ago, um, like I want to say in 2018, I came up... Ooh, question mark zone. Oh, Gabe, it's the boy. Give him the voice you came up with for him. <laughs> Young man, are you fished on your feet? I'm dead. I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. Is he Scottish? No, he's Cockney. Accent changes. He's what? It's, cock it's Cockney. That's Cockney? Yeah. All right. I... Yeah. But, like, very, very, like, to it's the It's a bit lighter where... and more understandable. Yeah. yeah. I think a little I'm... less slang, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, a little <laughs> less illiterate. My favorite, uh, I, I still really like that uh, they gave uh, Cockney to uh, Speedwagon in the dub. Dude, that oh. cheating ass motherfucker. I don't know, so has a halo bad. over his head when he's throwing fireballs. You fucking dick. What's yeah, wait, no, so no. can you not hit him or something with the halo? or? No, because he's dead. Wait, really? When That's, he's flying. He has a halo for a reason and he's floating around, Carrie. He's able to summon fire as well. I don't know. He could just be... That could just be his character. He's trying to harden Link with fire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So that he his can go and kill. Thing. Kill. Kill. Basically, like... You're right, right for that one. Jump! Oh! Jump! Jump! Can you, can you slide, jump slide! 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 Did Jesus you see the uh, Frostman video that I posted a while, that little bit ago? What video? God damn it, Past Devin! Get your head in the fucking game! Past Devin doesn't yeah. know what a game is. <laughs> the uh, Frostman video I put in general a little bit ago. I like don't remember. Back. Oh, it's just a sh like Shaq. Like doing his DJ thing. Oh, and, DJ uh, Shaq. Oh, I saw that. Fucking bumping it to my boy Frostman's team. DJ Shaq works best when it's uh, with. Uh... Told me this race was a minute 14. <laughs> Young man, you're very quick to be able to keep up with me. As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the Hook Shop. It's a spring loaded chain will pull you to any spot where it's hook stakes. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it'll help you. I live here now, so come back again sometime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing. Be careful on your way back. <laughs> I think like I the DJ a Shack meme works yeah. best if it's like uh, music from older Sonic games where all of that was just you know, just here's the here's the slap and funk time, you know? <laughs> here's chemical plan zone. How about like like you know like put the clip with like uh, launch base zone for example? Banger. Banger. Danger. 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 Will Robinson. What are oh, you yeah. doing, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> you know, are we just gonna stare at that box? What are we doing? What am I, what am I gonna do? Mm, no, no, no. Hey, yo, what do you think you're doing? I'm walking here. 
I was actually doing Super Show Luigi. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. I love how they had the same live-action Mario actor on that show who also did an anti-drugs commercial where Mario just says, if you do drugs, you're gonna go to hell. Yeah, yeah, that's why that's why they got him in, because uh, <laughs> that was the actor on the show. He's even wearing the Mario hat in there. I, I just love the fact that also, apparently, it's can it, in that show's canon, live-action Mario has long hair. Just that mop of curly hair. Does he, does he just keep it inside of his cap? It's Captain no, Lou it Albano! Is, oh, and draping over his shoulders! Yeah, it's fucking long. Wait, so what's this thing called? Freaking Mario like... turns into a half-hippie. Okay, <laughs> okay, so Carrie, Carrie, let me explain, alright? In the, uh... In the American, in the, like the late '80s, early '90s, uh, Super Mario Bros. cartoon, uh -huh. uh, there were live-action segments in the uh, earlier seasons um, uh -huh. that were just like play, like where the uh, where the voice actors played uh, the Mario Bros. They're played as like comedy sketches more than anything else. Yeah. yeah. Um. And um. So like. Mario was played by uh, Lou Albano, who's like a wrestler. <laughs> yep, or he was. Mr. Yeah, it's the Lou Albano, baby. Um, and uh, they had him do a drug PSA where he's still wearing Mario's hat, and he's all like, drugs are not your friend. So be sure to talk to, like, police officers, your local priest, your local rabbi, uh, because if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. <laughs> Please. <Yeah. laughs> Oh, man. Oh, no, a storm again. You played the ocarina again, didn't you? What the fuck? The storm stopped. What's he complaining about? It's clear now. He's just in an inter He's just in an internal state of anger. Mm -hmm. Hey, vey, that has to suck. Must be murder on your head when migraines happen. I don't know. It's oh. like, Bass is always angry, and he seems to get by just fine. <laughs> hey, so I'm looking at pictures of the live-action different live-action Mario adaptations, and there's one Mario who looks really good, and I'm, tr like, a lot like how I would imagine Mario would I swear look. to God to if she's looking at Bob Hoskins as Mario. Huh? Um, so what there was say? also an awful, awful live-action uh, Super Mario Bros. movie released in 1993, where yeah, Mario is played by Bob Hoskins from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Well, oh, yeah, the movie yeah might but be who played Eddie though. Valiant. Yeah? Yes. Okay, yeah, it's, uh, I feel like that's a pretty good fit. I'm not saying that the live-action movie is good by any means, no. Right. In, in fact, I, I don't even, I, all I had to see was the Nostalgia Critics critique of it to know it was not worth my time watching the entire thing. It's, it's honestly Mario good, it's good for some Mario. ironic value, and I do genuinely enjoy Bob Hoskins' performance as Mario in it, it's like... Yeah, here he yeah, has that he, super he show energy solid. to it. It looks like a solid Mario live action adaptation. Uh, yeah. It's uh the, the the weird thing is definitely Dennis Hopper as Bowser. <laughs> yeah, that I did not understand. Why the fuck did they choose to make him a like a humanoid? Listen, thing? there's a lot of there's a lot of questions where you could ask why regarding that movie because it's not a good movie. It's just like, you know, it's got Wait, a lot what? of ironic value to it. Um, so weird. Another example that I can think of right away is uh, the uh, live-action Street Fighter movie, where um, honestly, it's just really cheesy and awful all the way through. Uh, but the dictator, of course. God damn, does Raul Julia do a good job as Bison? Ah, uh, the dictator. Very nice. <laughs> Wait. Okay. So I'm copying an image right now from that Mario movie we were just talking about, that live-action adaptation from 1993, and I think this is the one with Bowser, but what the heck are those creatures in the back? Those are Goombas. Goombas. Uh, those are Goombas. Yep. Those you, are know the easy, you know the easiest <laughs> enemy to kill in Mario, which are super small and mushrooms? You know, those are Goombas. They big got giant, big bodies and tiny them. lizard heads for some They're reason. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Please make it go no, away. I, I don't like the Goombas nor the Koopa Troopers in that movie. They look just terrible, dude. It's so weird. They look like they'd fit more in uh, Cool World than anything with their tiny ass pinheads and their big ass friggin' thug looking yeah. bodies. Wow. Here we are in Lon Lon Ranch once again. Oh no. 
Oh, hey, look, Mario's not getting ground grinded on by the chickens. Good. Mario's I was getting gone. I was getting really fucking tired of seeing that every time we came into this stupid ass place. I'm, I'm sorry. So I didn't about these goombas, you guys. From the live action, sorry, I, I didn't mean to call that thing stupid. I just did. <laughs> I just couldn't fucking take any more of the chicken spazzing out. All right, all right. But here's my head cannon: is that um, Mario's plumbing rival Scapelli is actually Wario. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't quite understand the Scapelli joke, but I do know that random encounters. Uh, they had a Mario and Luigi. Uh, Mario Brothers musical that they did that mentioned Scapelli, but I don't know who the fuck that is. Scapelli I... is a character in the live-action movie who acts as, like, a uh, business rival of the Mario Bros in the plumbing industry. Oh, okay. So I thought he was, like, came... in the games or something. Yeah, I, I just joke that he's actually Wario. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Wario and Waluigi should really be the only business rivals to Mario and Luigi. I mean, considering how they're... What? I forgot the story of Wario and Luigi. Are they, like, evil clones, or...? Wario and... Wario is actually just a guy who look... who, who uh -huh. kind of has that evil doppelganger thing about Mario. And Waluigi okay. was created for uh, Mario Tennis because Wario needed a partner for doubles. <laughs> oh, okay. Really cool. That makes sense. Anyway, Mario basically, what we were skimming over with the text there is that uh, Ingo, the guy who we've pretty much convinced is Waluigi disguised as Luigi, uh, has taken has turned evil and taken over the ranch. Oh, come on, you evil dictator-looking ass. There are some people in Kakariko Village spreading rumors that I cheated Mario out of the range. Don't <laughs> be ridiculous. That guy Mario was weak. I, the hard-working Waluigi, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Lisi, oh, the, the great Ganondorf, recognized my obvious talent and gave the range to me. A great Bowser. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. <laughs> Approach the horse quietly and stand by its side. Press A to do the thing. Use the control stick to make it run. Once it starts running, press A to tap at it with the whip. When you want to jump over the fence, accelerate and hit it head on. Wah! That's very <laughs> Awkwardly, just awkwardly staring at him. <laughs> oh, I was wondering Those why Gabe eyes. was so quiet. Uh... Was he muted? He went to the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have the decency to say, I'll be right back on recording. <laughs> oh no, he put it in the chat, in the chat. Yeah, he oh, did, that's what I'm saying. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, what the fuck did he just write? Look at those guy's legs, I think he needs... Play a Pono song and a Pono will come to you, and guy. just he's, he's only to ride a Pono, okay? I thought you were going to ride a Pono We're getting better. standing up. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corner. Let's make a little oh, wager, no. say 50 rupees. And yeah. you're confident. Yeah, okay, yeah. so you are you need to pick a Pono because the other horses are actually too slow to beat them. Oh, well, that makes sense. It goes with the theme of Epona being... Link's trusty horse. The Although to be fair, Link opponent oh, isn't game. Link's horse. Uh, isn't Link's horse until after this. It is not Link horse. You anyway, Dave, you just Link's missed horse. an entire reading of this guy's dialogue with Waluigi's voice. <laughs> <laughs> and replacing Talon's name with Mario. <laughs> oh, I see. No, it's fine. He's more Set short. <laughs> if the great Ganondorf oh, found out about this humiliation, hey you, how about another race? If you win, you can keep that horse. Oh, you don't even get a fucking choice. Well, is freak. It, well, is that dictator-looking son of a bitch going to? I don't know. Spill the beans on himself that he lost to Link. Link doesn't talk. He gives himself oh, no. a. I uh... spilled my beans. <laughs> He gives himself a head start at the beginning to cheat, and uh, so basically you just need to get the acceleration as soon as possible, and then like, 
Trap the horse's <laughs> ass as soon as it refills. Time. <laughs> do not try to, uh, do not try to, uh, like, play this safely. Try to play it as quickly, and that's how you win. <laughs> okay. Holy shit, Evan, you just fucking boxed his ass out. What's <laughs> up with that horse? Is that the Pona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? It was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I banked it on the race and lost. Wah! Wah! <laughs> As I promised, I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, you That's closed the gate nice. on us. You By the way, this is... Piece of shit. This is effortless. Getting out of yeah, here is effortless. Right? Just get a running start and jump right over it. Even... <laughs> yeah, what do you Terry think? Terry got it and she hasn't even played the game. <laughs> Dude, he fucking just told us how to jump over fences. Seriously. <laughs> I wonder what's going imbecile. on in the forest right now. I, Navi, I don't think that's the biggest concern at the moment. Yeah, right? Oh, got a, got a bad angle there. You have Oops. to... If you fuck up the angle, opponent will just stop. <laughs> it's like opponent just stops and fucking yeets Link right over the gate and off of her back. Oh... You have, to, you have to time it perfectly <laughs> for you. Um, as I promised, though. So. Oh, wait, I can't do the voice. Now, Gabe, you say Waluigi stuff. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm fucking warmed up, brother. Give me a second, <laughs> I'm gonna mute so I can fucking scream. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what if we just fucking killed that guy? We jumped over that and fucking hit him head on. <laughs> and we hear Gabe shrieking in the background. <laughs> He shrieks so loud that we can just hear him from our homes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I'm the farthest away from where he lives. And oh my gosh, that'd be funny if I heard him. Anyway, uh, I want to show you what happens if you come back to the ranch after doing all that shit. It, it's just like the shot heard around the world, but it's Gabe Screech heard around the world. Like Gabe. you just see a camera Gabe. like... Gabe, <laughs> I'm sorry, but we already have the shit heard around the world. The oh my gosh. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not saying that that's what that is, but it's something that's already happened. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing will top is, that. It has already been done, yes. All right, anyway, we're we showing what happens if you come back here. Look at that other guy in the eye and just teabag his property. <laughs> or you could for it to be shove moving. him into the, into like the corral and block him in. The golden Corral? <laughs> nice. Didn't know they had one here in Hyrule. <laughs> I just see a bunch of chain restaurants showing up in Hyrule. Is there... Oh, he's dressed like <laughs> Luigi again, too. What kind of chain? Hey, Dan. How are you? I am here. Luigi. I feel so honored to be allowed to work here. Wait, Basically, he's talking? being nice to you because... Well, like, mainly... His status, has been, to his status has been lowered to a buster. <laughs> Thank you very much for the other day. I haven't even asked you your name yet. Really? Link? That's what I thought. You're the fairy boy from the forest. That was years ago. Do you remember me? <laughs> that doesn't mean what you think it means, you lady. Do? I was sure I, it was you. Oh, I have to tell you about Mr. Waluigi. He was afraid that the evil king might find out that Epona had been taken away. It would really upset him. But one day, all of a sudden, he went back to being a normal, nice person. Now my dad is coming back. I can't believe it, but peace is returning to this ranch. It's all because wonder... of you. I owe you so much. Aw. Thank you. I wonder if Waluigi's memory was wiped. Okay, I so uh, actually, actually, so hard that he just. I do want to point out <laughs> that yeah, in the in the manga adaptation <laughs> of this game, uh, Ganon actually did put him under mind control. Oh, he did. He was acting. He's oh, the way he acted when you showed up was so uncharacteristic. I mean, he was also... you would think he would be a bit more scornful. So it makes me wonder if yeah, something else happened to him. So Jim basically, Jim. by beating him in that horse race and just slapping the piss out of him in that competition, you helped take him out from under Ganon's control? I yeah, guess. don't you know? Yeah, I... no, you know uh, horse jockeys, right? Whenever they lose a race, they get amnesia. Oh, so... okay. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, at least he's back to normal then. That's good. Yep, hell of a, hell of a life. Um... Now he doesn't look like such a Shakespeare-looking-ass wannabe. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. 
He even changed his clothes. Yeah. Um. Also, that girl there, Malin, who taught you upon a song to begin with. Uh, the uh, like, despite her appearance in the game, she's one of those characters that fan artists for some reason like to draw with monster titties. <laughs> Oh no. no! Well, because uh, Lon Lon Ranch is like, ha, ah, here have some. It's like, wait, let me explain. Oh, have God. some milk, ha. Huh? Um, <laughs> that's not the line. I I didn't make the connection until Gabe said it, and I hate it. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome, Brezner. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> keep you around, Gabe. Huh? That's why we keep you around. Next hey, time on Smash bang, bang, Games, brother. Gabe is back. <laughs> hey, I'm here until I die, which will be never. Next time on Smash Team because Games, of... Gabe is banned. Oh, wait. <laughs> Next time on Smash Team Games, Gabe fucking dies. I'm kidding. No, no, yes. <laughs> Next time on Smash Team Games, uh, Gabe dies of type 3 Dysentery. brain <laughs> I know what one of those things was. <laughs> <laughs>